Innovators operate in all sectors of society, finding solutions to community problems. The next hurdle is to take those innovations out of the prototype stage to the next level. To inspire African innovators and to inspire Africans in general, to give them uh, the African spirit uh, for innovation and, and, and of innovation. Uh, and try to now shift from uh, the innovators towards the mass also, so massificate innovation. That spirit is key because the continent faces challenges that require local solutions, using available resources. Solving real problems and it's, and it's this kind of innovation out of necessity, frugal innovation it's sometimes called, because people will solve things with the most basic of, of, uh, of solutions and the most basic of materials. Innovators and inventors are driven by an inner force, a need to find solutions. Look around you and you see need in society. There are gaps in what people could be, what we could solve. And you believe you have the ability, the knowledge, the background and the training. Then I really can't see why I won't do something about it. I come from a physics background. And that taught me that connecting with the boundaries of human knowledge is one of the most human things we can do. It's really an internal passion. But then also, I want to see everybody else fulfill their full potential, and particularly to stay healthy enough to do that. It's a passion, a passion that came from childhood, and passion, for, passion to contribute towards Africa. I've always had that passion since I was a kid. Innovators seem to have something in common, and that's a need to solve problems that affect their communities. Now taking it to the next stage, which is massification. If that works, we're off to a good start. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Gaborone, Botswana.